everyone, it's Kayla and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing my June TBR. June is my birthday month and I am so incredibly excited because I have a nice little list of books I'm going to be reading plus I'm also participating in the Panemathon which is a readathon that is inspired and based on The Hunger Games. I will be participating in the District 2 prompt. District 2 is hosted by Faye from Books and Chocoholic. I am not going to be too ambitious with this readathon. I'm pretty much only reading two books for this readathon simply because at work we go into like our big winter sale and it's obviously the midst of winter that we get super super busy so i know that i'm going to be stressed i know that i'm going to be busy so i probably won't be able to read as much as i would like to but i still have quite a few good books on this tbr so again i will be doing my tbr game if you have no idea what this is about i will link my video down below to the original one that i did but essentially it is like cards against humanity but with book prompts and book subcategories so very simple very straightforward Let's just get started. The first one I have is a historical fiction with a pretty cover. Or choose my own, a book over 300 pages. As much as I want to read the historical fiction with a pretty cover, I think I'm going to do choose your own over 300 pages. So that first one is choose your own that is over 300 pages. This particular one is just I can pick whatever I want as long as it meets the subcategory. So for this one, I'm going with Matthew Riley's The Secret Runners of New York. I will be kind of buddy reading this, probably not for the whole month, like it'll probably go longer than that because Brad tends to read a little bit slower than I do, but I'll be buddy reading it with him because we were talking about doing a buddy read together and reading something alongside each other. He loves Matthew Riley. I don't mind Matthew Riley's writing and I have been interested in this one so I bought this one so we could read it together because I bought a copy for him a while ago and then I bought one for myself so we're going to read it together. I don't know much about this except it's meant to do with like a secret society and like stopping an apocalypse, something like that. I believe it has been described as Mean Girls meets Back to the Future. But I've liked a couple of the books that I've read from Matthew Riley previously, so I'm interested in checking out this one. I'll read the blurb as well, just because I obviously don't know much about this already, but I'll read the blurb so you guys can have some idea of what it's about. The Coming End. When Sky Rogers and her twin brother Red move to Manhattan, rumors of a global apocalypse are building. But the young elite of New York keep partying without a care. Can you keep a secret? And then suddenly Sky is invited to join an exclusive gang known as the Secret Runners of New York. This is no ordinary clique. They have access to an underground portal that can transport them into the future. And what Sky discovers is horrifying. So Matthew Riley tends to write very action-packed adult stories, whereas this one is his first sort of young adult story. But there has been a lot of good reviews and I do like his writing so I'm looking forward to reading this one with Brad. The next one we've got a middle grade that's over 300 pages or a sci-fi with a pretty cover. I think I'm gonna go with the middle grade over 300 pages. So this next one that I have is a middle grade that is over 300 pages. So for this one, I'm going with North Child by Edith Patu. And I love this cover. Isn't it absolutely stunning? I figured this was the perfect way to start off winter by reading a book that definitely has some strong winter vibes. Again, I know barely anything about this, but it is apparently a very popular book in the middle grade genre. So I'm looking forward to reading it because I really am keen to read more middle grade books. This is just one of them and it is definitely over 300 pages. I think it's like 470 or something like that, but it sounds good and I love the cover. Rose is an unusual child, a North child. 
Rose was born facing north, and the old stories say she will venture far from home and embark on a dangerous journey. Making a pact with an enormous white bear, Rose travels on his back to a mysterious castle that holds a dark enchantment, a darker temptation, and the key to her true destiny. I love the sound of this. It just sounds so magical and full of adventure, and I really cannot wait to read it. And then we have a contemporary. That is an anticipated read. Or a classic. Published before 2010. I think I'm probably going to go with the classic published before 2010 to stick with my classic per month thing. So this next one I have is a classic that was published before 2010, which isn't that difficult because most classics I own have been published before 2010. So for this one, I'm actually going with 1984 by George Orwell. And it also turns out that George Orwell was actually born on the same day as me. So this kind of works. I didn't think about this until after I had already picked it, but it definitely makes sense to read this in the month that we are both born. And this is definitely a classic that I have been wanting to read for some time because of the whole like dystopian totalitarian thing. Like it definitely intrigues me. I don't know too much more about this other than the fact that it's like you're being watched all the time by big brother and it's definitely a very popular classic that a lot of people love. I'm intrigued and it definitely goes along with the whole me wanting to read a classic every month plus like I said it's perfect for this being my birthday month. And the last one I have is a young adult that is an anticipated read or a historical fiction that is part of a series. I think I'm going to go with the young adult and anticipated read. And the last one that I have is a young adult that is anticipated. So for this one, because I'm doing the Panemathon, we have to do a read along of the new Hunger Games book, which is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. I only just got this myself because obviously it was only released not too long ago. And I am super keen to read this. I know that it's meant to be about President Snow and kind of like a villain origin story. I don't know, but it didn't really intrigue me at first because I don't like President Snow, but I also hate President Coin more so. So I'm definitely interested in what is going to happen in this. And I know a lot of people have already read and finished it, so I'm trying to avoid all those spoilers because I don't want to be spoiled. Apparently, I think the read along of this is meant to start on June the 1st. I think we're reading it that week. I don't know, I'll have to double check. I'm definitely very much looking forward to joining in on Panemathon, so it's going to be good. That was all the cards that I've got for this particular game. I know there was only four. Again, like I said, it's going to be a busy month. I didn't want to like push myself with too much. So the next one that I plan on reading is for the District 2 prompt, which I believe is like a weapon or something on the cover. So for this one, I'm actually going with Feather Tails and Broomsticks by Dianara Dawson. I am doing a read along of this on Instagram with some people that we were reading along the Order of the Rose series as well. So we're sort of like suggesting indie authors to read. And this is perfect timing for this one, not only because it fits in with this prompt, but Dianara Dawson is also releasing the very last book in this particular series as well very soon. So it'll help promote this series too, we hope. Again, I don't know too much about this. I suck with the books this month. Like I have no idea what they're about really. But this one is for fans of like Sabrina and Charmed and I think Buffy, I don't know, something like that. So I believe it's very witchy and I'm looking forward to that because I have not read a lot of witch themed books. So I'm looking forward to reading this. It doesn't come under any of my TBR game prompts, but it definitely comes under the District 2 prompt, which I'm very excited for. And I have one last book to mention because hopefully if I get around to it, this would be amazing. And that is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. I recently received a lovely haul of books that I'd purchased and King of Scars was on the list. So I figured it was about time to actually read Crooked Kingdom so then I can read King of Scars. But I'm looking forward to reading this because apparently it's better than Six of Crows. And I just, I love this series. I love the characters. The characters are a lot of fun. I do prefer this over the Shadow and Bone trilogy, even though I've only read Six of Crows. 
but I look forward to reading Cooking Kingdom if I get the chance to read it after all these other books so I don't know <laughs> but we will see how I go maybe I'll do fantastic and have plenty of time to spare in reading other books we shall see but this is one that I would love to read if I can get to it thanks everyone for watching I am looking forward to reading these books and I'm looking forward to participating in Panamathon you can still join in if you follow their Twitter page I will link that down below I will also link Faye's video as well but yes I also plan on updating these TBR cards as well at some stage so that we have a few different prompts if you have any suggestions feel free to let me know on here or Instagram or Twitter thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing what your TBR for June is as well I will see you all in the next video. Bye!